M1 Global presents Set now for the bantamweight final of the 2016 WMMAA European Ready? Championships from Ice Ready? Palace in St. Petersburg, right. Russia. With Ian the Machine Freeman, I'm Sean Wheelock. Round number one. Vladislav Novitsky from Belarus. He's in the black trunks versus Kasum Kasuma from Russia in the gray and red trunks. <laughs> Novitsky coming out first with the low kick there, Sean. And then these guys, they've already fought two fights yesterday to get to this final. So they'll either be very, very pumped to be in here today or they'll be very tired, but both guys looking extremely well on their feet. Lots of lateral movement from Kasuma. Hands very high. Nowitzki circling, trying to find the angle on his way to the inside. Kasuma a little bit more static there than Nowitzki. Nice low kick. Nowitzki staying on the outside. Good left jab. <laughs> nice low kick. Hands very high as you see for Kasumov. A lot of head movement for the Russian. One, two, both miss from Davitsky. Swing and a miss with the right hand. Kasumov to the body. Yeah, nice body shot there, setting him up. And Kasuma, very disciplined with his guard hands, very high. The thing with Nowitzki, his head is quite stiff and it's, his chin is up in the air. He doesn't keep it down, he doesn't keep it tucked away like Kasuma. He's a little bit of an open target, but there's the double. On the shot for the double leg by Kasuma. Nowitzki trying to sprawl. Takedown lands. Good commitment chain wrestling on the second effort from Kasuma. Yeah, Kasuma from the hard guard. Nowitzki trying to turn him, a little bit of an awkward position, but he's going to get it. He can go for crucifix from here. And he's quite happy to just keep hold of the body, Sean. Trying to do like a stolen tactic more than anything else. He could really turn and get out on his knees if he wanted to. Kasumov trying to step over, trying to reach through. Stay busy, guys. Stay busy. Well, Nowitzki, Nowitzki had all the chance in the world to turn him there, but he was quite content to just keep a hold of the body. He's looking for the referee to stand that he should have turned him. Kasumov gets his head free. Referee Jan Vavornik taking this close look. Happy to see plenty of action as we continue. 2.35 remaining round number one. <laughs> this and all tournament finals scheduled for two five-minute rounds. <laughs> Level on the three judges scorecards after two rounds. We will go to a third and decisive overtime round. <laughs> hammer fist from Kasumov. Yeah, Kasumov's thrown the hammer fist, but he's got an arm trapped there. He needs to cross face and pull that arm out. <laughs> Kasumov working out of the half guard of Nowitzki. Nowitzki just trying to hold on, controlling on the left arm. As long as Kasumov is throwing him hammer fist, referee will not stand it, no matter how long Nowitzki keeps hold of that arm. Kasumov trying to throw the right hand through the head. Ian, just no real offensive grappling from the bottom from Nowitzki. Holding tight on the half guard and trying to control the left arm of Kasumov. To be honest, watching Kasumov, he, he could slip that leg free if he wanted and step over to mount position because the half guard is not really tight, but he's quite happy, quite content, just the hammer fist. You know, he's winning the round, he's doing really well with the ground and pound. But if he wanted to, he could slip out of there. It's not really a very tight close guard. Good right hand after missing the hammer fist. Now a right hand to the body from Kasumov. <laughs> Throwing with the right hand is his left arm still trapped by Nowitzki. And again, if he wanted to, we could pull that arm out. There we go, there we go. Because I was going to say, he only had a hold of it with one arm. If he had a hold with two, it would be a lot harder to pull the arm free. But I think he's quite happy to just stay in this half guard and hammer fist away. <laughs> Left hand getting through a moment ago in this sequence. That right hammer fist getting through. 55 seconds remaining round number one. All from the lone takedown attempt. Successfully hit on the second effort from, uh, from Kasum Kasumov. Now holding this top position, continuing the fight out of the half guard of Vladislav Nowitzki. Hammer fist starting to find their way through from Kasumov. Just like that with the right hand. Yeah, Nowitzki needs to do something different and hang on to this half guard position. He's just taking punishment now. He's 
the bottom fighter, you cannot stall and force the stand-up. The stand-up comes from the inactivity of the top fighter, and you see a lot of activity from Kasuma. Well, he knows that as well, Sean. He's thrown his hammer fist. He knows it's scoring points. He's won this round, clearly. So he's quite happy to stay there. Remember, like we said, two rounds only in this, this amateur fight. So he's only got to win more, one more, and that's it. He's, he's there. He's done. But a great, great position there for Kasumov. That is the end of round number one of this bantamweight final. Now the referee is warning Nowitzki more on the defense. And there's a beautiful body shot there by Kasumov. Kasumov worked really well, gets a nice takedown. Takedown lands him straight into half guard. And that is where the first round basically started and finished. Kasumov in top position, half guard, pummeling away at Nowitzki. You see in the corner of Kasum, Kasumov. Good. Kasumov just said to you and me, good. Gave us a wink. Feeling very good about round number one. There's Marco Brewerson of the Netherlands, the chief official. He just 2016 WMMAA European Championships here in St. Petersburg, Russia. Headed into round number two. Ready? Ready? Fight. Well, Nevetsky has to try something different here, Sean. He, he was outclassed on the feet and definitely outclassed on the ground. Maybe needs to try a takedown of his own, but no. Gets caught in a double again, straight back onto the canvas. Two attempts, two successful takedowns for Kasum Kasumov. Hit the one in round number one. Now hits that 15 seconds into round number two. Nothing on that guillotine position. No, he's in the half guard. It's going to be very hard to apply this guillotine from there. Kasumov about to pop his head free, and he does on cue. Well, carbon copy of round one, Sean, half guard. Now full guard. Now let's see what does Nevisky have from his back regarding submissions. Round number one, Ian. We saw Nevisky just clinging defensively onto the half guard, not looking for sweeps, not looking to attack with the legs from the bottom position. And to be honest, that tells me that he's not that skilled on the submission side of the game. That's why I was thinking he may need a, a takedown of his own, get in top position, try some ground and pound. But you never know, he's got a hold of the arm there, maybe trying for the arm bar. But now he's just holding the head. Nevitsky walking his guard up. Kasumov with the left hand. That doesn't get through. Kasumov now raising his head up, looking for striking distance. Nevitsky being a little more aggressive with his guard. Warm under the chin, nicely done from Kasumov. Smart and legal, and now lands the right hand. Yeah, Kasumov's doing well. Notice how he keeps his hands on the inside. Keeps your hand on the inside, that means you can't really get tied up with anything. Leaves your hands free to be able to throw the strikes. So there's body head. Nice hammer fist. Davidsky again closing his guard, walking it up, but not attacking with the legs. He didn't attack with the legs in the half guard round number one, and Ian, he's not attacking at all with this closed guard here in round number two. Just recrosses the ankles. Yeah, he did have a half-hearted attempt of an armbar, but it was a half-hearted attempt. I don't think it would be enough to catch somebody in an armbar. Kasumov looking very comfortable in this top position. Good wide base on his knees. Now raising up, looking for the hammer fist. You see no triangle attempt from Nowitzki, keeping the low guard. Low guard. Now clearing the legs and oh, passing into side control is Kasumov. Yeah, this is more dangerous now. Kasumov sitting through on his hip. Yeah, he's, he's, he's actually trying to trap the arm. He's going to go for crucifix position in side control, trying to trap that arm against his legs. Walking up, looking for crucifix, is Kasumov. The trap on the left arm of Nowitzki. Nowitzki trying to regard. Good he gets it. Nicely done by Nowitzki, but again, it's defense. It's Kasumov playing offense for the vast majority of this fight. Well, Kasumov has been in top position for nearly three minutes now. Nice reversal attempt there. Nowitzki trying it, but he's just, he's just too static on his back, Sean. He's not really doing any sort of submission or reversal attempt. Back to the half guard, and we know that Kasumov enjoyed the half guard. He's just going to finish his round off strong again. Kasumov very comfortable fighting out of the half guard, as you see now, lands the right hand to the head. Hammer fist. 
All offense from Kasum, Kasumov of Russia, all defense from Vladislav Davitsky of Belarus. Nice head control as well there by Kasumov. Davitsky with his head flat to the canvas. That's not where you want to be when you're on your back. You never want to have your head flat to the canvas. You want to have a little bit of recoil. Put your chin to your chest, keep your head off the canvas so when you do get hit, there's a little bit of recoil to take that pressure away. Nice big right hands. Saw a good look from the closed guard of Nowitzki, but it's so defensive on that closed half guard. Pass nice again. pass into side control for Kasumov. Final minute of this round. Will this be the final minute of this bantamweight tournament final? Kasumov throwing knees to the body now. The only Arsenal he hasn't used is that mount position, which I wouldn't be surprised if he stepped over. 40 seconds left to go, but he's in a strong position, Sean. He'll be happy to stay here inside. Kasuma walking up the body inside oh, control. Nice. Big left hammer fist in another. <laughs> strong showing up from Kasum Kasuma. He can sense this victory. He can sense this tournament victory. He knows he's got this, Sean. It's been two strong rounds. Side control position now. With 10 seconds left to go, he's just going to punch it out. He's going to punch it out to the victory, I feel. Almost put knee on belly, continuing to throw. You see the big, wide, strong base on his knees from Kasuma. And that's the end of the round, and most likely the end of this bantamweight final. Again, we do have the possibility of an overtime round. If it's scored level after these two rounds on the three judges' scorecards, Ian, I don't think that's going I'd to be, be the very case. surprised if it was. I mean, that was two strong dominant rounds there by Kasumov. Two takedown attempts, one in round one, one in round two, both successfully hit by Kasumov. And Nowitzki never had an answer. From he those takedowns, he could never get up. He couldn't, he couldn't get up. I mean, it all depends on how hard was his two fights that he had yesterday. He has, he has two fights to get into this final. He could be exhausted, he, he could be injured even, but that was a dominant, dominant fight there by Kasumov. Для награждения бронзовых призеров мы приглашаем нас э, на в ринг обладателей третьих мест Радим Наврузов из Грузии, а также Евгений Бондарь из Украины. Through the two rounds in ten minutes. Two good takedowns from Kasumov. What really impressed me, Ian, was his top control. Fighting out of close guard, fighting out of half guard, very comfortable, never in danger of being triangled, never in danger of being swept. What was good as well was the hammer fists. I mean, these are amateurs. Not many amateurs use the hammer fist. They just go for the big power shots, but he controlled it, he did well. And now we hand it over to your MC for the final. Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых единоборств. По итогам двух раундов в этом поединке одержал победу и стал чемпионом Европы по смешанному боевому единоборству ММА 2016 года в весовой категории 61,3 килограмма спортсмен из России Касум Касума! Absolutely no спортсменов, которые, которых стало двое, они завоевали третье место, стали бронзовыми призерами. Бронзовые призеры Радим Наврузов и спортсмен из Украины Денис Бондарь. Спасибо огромное. Общие фото на память и наши аплодисменты первым героям, первым победителям.